If you're planning to install a new access point, there are a number of things you should consider. You can't just take an access point and put it anywhere on your organization's floor or building and expect it to work optimally. The first thing you should think about is perhaps where the users happen to be that will be using this wireless access point. Not everybody needs access to the wireless network when they're at their desk, but they may need wireless access point in their conference rooms or in very large meeting areas. And if that's the case, you may want to put your access point closer to those parts of the room or the floor than having them somewhere that's farther away from your conference rooms. You also want to think about where your walls might happen to be. Anything that is metal, anything that is concrete, anything that is a wall that's very difficult for these frequencies to go through is going to be a problem for you. It's going to deaden or attenuate this particular wireless signal, and it's going to be harder to get that signal to your end users. And because of that, you really have to think about the type of antenna that you're planning to use. You want to make sure you get an antenna that's strong enough, has high enough gain to be able to get through some of these walls and other types of things that might be in the way. You can also think about using multiple access points. You don't just have to use a single access point. You've got other options available. Sometimes you can use two or three to cover an entire room or an entire floor. There's usually a time where you want to overlap the signal just a little bit so that users can move from one access access point to the other. And you'll also want to be sure that your frequencies are not going to overlap with you. You don't want one of your access points conflicting or interfering with frequencies on another access point. Let's take an example of an apartment building, because here's an example where you have a building that has rooms that are very spread out all over the place. And in this particular example, you need 100% coverage. Every room should be able to have a wireless signal inside of it. And you also have to think about, in these large open areas, would these be good places to install an access point? Can you put one right in the middle? Or are these open greenways? There's no way to put an access point. You may have to put them in one lobby here and one lobby here and hope it makes it all the way over. So there may be quite a work that you have to do to figure out how many access points you're going to put in. And once you do that, determining how far the antennas are going to work to get out to the particular users. So it may not be something that you engineer immediately and that's the way it goes in. You may have a little bit of trial and error to be able to move the access points around and see if the signal is really being distributed the way that you'd like. An office building is a little bit easier to work with because you have complete control over the ceilings. You can put an access point pretty much anywhere you'd like, and you have the ability to run them and move them wherever you would like them to be. In a scenario like this, let's assume that we need 100% coverage. We might want to use multiple access points and simply overlay those access points with different frequencies. So you might have, for instance, with 802.11b or g or even n with some of those 2.4 gigahertz frequencies, you may want to overlap the channels a bit so that you have, for instance, channel 1, channel 6, and channel 11. And notice that none of those are ever touching each other. Channel 11 never touches channel 6 and channel 1 in an effort to make sure that all of these frequencies are as far away from each other as possible. That way, you'll minimize the interference. And therefore, you will have a wireless network that is performing as optimally as possible.